Numbers chapter 26 verses 1 through 51. And it came to pass after the plague, that the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Eleazar the priest spake with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, the eldest son of Israel, the children of Reuben, Hanok, of whom cometh the family of the Hanukites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. And the sons of Palu, Eliab. And the sons of Eliab, Nimuel, and Dathan, and Abiram. This is that Dathan and Abiram, which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they strove against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed them up together with Korah, when that company died, what time the fire devoured two hundred and fifty men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding the children of Korah died not. The sons of Simeon after their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites, of Jaman, the family of the Jamanites, of Jachin, the family of the Jaconites, of Zerah, the family of the Zarites, of Shaal, the family of the Shaalites. These are the families of the Simeonites, twenty and two thousand and two hundred. The children of Gad after their families, of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites, of Haggi, the family of the Haggites, of Shunai, the family of the Shunites, of Osni, the family of the Osnites, of Eri, the family of the Erites, of Arid, the family of the Eridites, of Areli, the family of the Erlites. These are the families of the children of Gad according to those that were numbered of them, forty thousand and five hundred. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan, and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah after their families were, of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Perez, the family of the Fertzites, of Zerah, the family of the Zarites. And the sons of Perez were, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and sixteen thousand and five hundred. Of the sons of Issachar after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Pua, the family of the Punites. Of Joshub, the family of the Joshubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and four thousand and three hundred. Of the sons of Zebulun after their families, of C. Red, the family of the Sardites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jalil, the family of the Jalilites. These are the families of the Zebulonites according to those that were numbered of them, threescore thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph after their families were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the family of the Machirites, and Machir begat Gilead, of Gilead come the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Helek, the family of the Helekites. And of Azrael, the family of the Israelites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites. And of Shemida, the family of the Shemadites, and of Heper, the family of the Heferites. And Zelophehad the son of Heper had no sons, but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and two thousand and seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families, of Shuthala, the family of the Shuthalites, of Becher, the family of the Bakrites, of Tahan, the family of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shuthala, of Aran, the family of the Aaronites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim according to those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after their families, of Bela, the family of the Belites, of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites. Of Shuppam, the family of the Shufamites, of Hufam, the family of the Hufamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman, of Ard, the family of the Ardites, and of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, 
and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families, of Shuham, the family of the Shuamites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were threescore and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asher after their families, of Jimnah, the family of the Jimnites, of Jezi, the family of the Jezuit, of Beriah, the family of the Beriites. Of the sons of Beriah, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher according to those that were numbered of them, who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Of the sons of Naphtali after their families, of Jezeel, the family of the Jazulites, of Guni, the family of the Gunites. Of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Shilem, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali according to their families, and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the numbered of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. Luke chapter 2 verses 36 through 52. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Aser, she was of a great age, and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in that instant gave, thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee, to their own city Nazareth. And the child grew, and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass, that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them, and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed, and his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them, and came to Nazareth, and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and in favor with God and man. Psalms chapter 60. O God, Thou hast cast us off, Thou hast scattered us, Thou hast been displeased, O turn Thyself to us again. Thou hast made the earth to tremble, Thou hast broken it, heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. Thou hast showed Thy people hard things, Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. Thou hast given a banner to them that fear Thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Selah. That Thy beloved may be delivered, save with Thy right hand, and hear me. God hath spoken in His holiness, I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and meet out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of mine head, Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe, Philistia, triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O God, which hadst cast us off? And thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 15. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it, and he that hateth suretyship is sure.